This tutorial will help you get started using Weebly. And Weebly really is, in my opinion, the easiest way to make a professional looking website. It's great for teachers to make a classroom web page. It's also good for students to use to make their own websites. First thing to do, of course, is either to sign up or log in. When you first sign in, you may see this question pop up. It's just asking me to categorize what kind of websites I am making on Weebly. I'm going to choose Education and Teacher and then Submit. You can see that I already have three websites developed or in progress. It used to be that Weebly limited people to just two websites per free account and if you wanted more than two you had to upgrade to a paid account but Weebly now allows up to 10 websites with the free account. To create a new site all I have to do is click Add Site and I get to select the main purpose of my website. Is it mostly a blog? Am I going to try to sell something? Or is it more a traditional website? I'll go with that. Next thing I need to do is choose a theme and Weebly comes with some really good pre-made themes to choose from. I'll select this one and notice before I click choose I have the option of of changing the color scheme a little bit if I want to. I'm gonna go with green and click choose. Next I must choose my website domain. Basically what is it that visitors to my website will have to type in in order to go to my website. The cheapest option is simply use a subdomain of Weebly and I could go ahead and type in here and notice that the address now for my website will be mathforgeniuses.weebly.com and it's available. You can register a new domain but there is a cost associated with that or maybe you already own a domain that you've paid for through some other system you could utilize that. I'm gonna go with the free version that has the .weebly.com at the end. I'll click continue and it takes me to my website most of what you see in Weebly is editable. I can change the title of my site simply by clicking and deleting what's there and typing in my new title. If I want to, I can change the default image that comes with this design theme. I can just click Edit Image and go from there. I can click to add a headline for this front page, and I could even change the text on this button just by clicking on it and typing. And it's basically a what you see is what you get editor. You build your page and as you build it you're seeing you pretty much what the viewer will see when they visit your website. Now notice that Weebly comes with all of these wonderful different types of media and other items that you can pull onto your website. So I could click and drag and add another title to my page, I could add text to my page, all these different things. As an example, I'm going to click and drag image and text onto my site, and I can click to upload a picture. I can drag photos from my desktop onto this rectangle, I can upload photos from my computer. You can also search, and notice it's going to bring up some professional photos that do cost money. This one's five dollars, and there's also some free photos. Okay, I've selected my picture, brought it in, and now I can click to edit the text that goes with it. As you're typing, you can see that there are various text options that come up, including this one here for creating a link. You can highlight text, click the link, and type in the URL that you want to use, and click Save. So the image option, text, and title all work just as you would expect them to. Gallery is interesting. You can add a gallery of, of photos. You can cr also create a slideshow with this one. You can pull in a map. Contact form is, is pretty interesting. You drag and drop that onto your page and it makes it so that the general public can contact you. They can submit, submit their name, email address, and a comment and submit it and it will be sent to you. For teachers, Assignment form is a wonderful feature. I'm going to drag that on the screen to show this. A student now can visit my website, type in their name, email address, and then they'll be able to browse and upload files to submit to me. So it becomes an inbox for my classroom. I'll click Save. Now that's not all. There's even more that you can add to your Weebly site. There are some structure options that are really good. For example, if I click and drag this columns option onto the screen of my website. It allows me to divide up 
the page of my website into sections. I can have two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns. I can also change some of the spacing options. I'll just have two columns and now watch what I can do. I can click and drag my picture and text on the left and my assignment form onto the right of the page. So this structure columns option is great for organizing the look and feel of your website. You can also put in dividers if you want to delineate between sections of your website. This is helpful. Notice that this search box option has a star in the corner. That means that it's reserved for paying customers. I don't really need that anyway. So let's look at the next one. Button. I can click and drag to add more buttons onto my site. Then to customize the button I just click on it and I can type to change the name of the button. I can click link to put in an address for the link for the button to go to. If I want the button to take the student to one of my existing pages on my site, I can just click standard page and choose the one that I want it to go to. Now, there are all these other great different things that you can add to your site. You can add YouTube videos, documents, flash files. Notice that there are polls, lots of really good good features for you to look through explore and use on your site. But the one that I like most often and that I use probably more than any of these is this embed code. I'm going to click and drag and put an embed code box right there. Notice it says click to set custom HTML. So now if I click there I can paste in an embed code from one of the hundreds of websites that allow you to create things and then embed what you create on to web pages. I'll give you a couple of examples. There's a wonderful website called Voki, and Voki allows you to create talking avatars or characters. When you're done, it takes you to a page where you can get an embed code. So I'll copy that embed code, go back to Weebly, and where it says click to set custom HTML, I will click and paste in the embed code from Voki. Now to make that code activate, I have to click outside the box that I just pasted it into and notice what it did. It pulled in my Voki character. I before E, except after C. For another example, I'm going to drag embed code down and I'll pull in an embed code from Infogram. Here's an Infogram. It's got a share button in the corner that gives me an embed code. I'll copy that, go back to Weebly, click to set custom HTML, paste, click outside the box, and my Infogram infographic appears on my Weebly site. So honestly for me, this embed code object that I can drag onto my Weebly site is, in my opinion, the most powerful and the most useful of all the things that you can add to your Weebly page. Because it means that I, you can put elements of other websites that you've built onto your Weebly page. Unfortunately, not all websites give you an embed code. For example, this is a great website called superteachertools.net and you can create Jeopardy games on this site. But when you're done, there's no embed code, at least that I've seen. That's okay. I can go up and copy the link to the game, go back to Weebly, and this time, instead of embed code, I will simply add text and then click to edit and I'll type in some, some words. Then highlight the words, click the chain link button, and paste in the website URL for the game. Click save. Now I've got a link to my Jeopardy game. There are even more things you can do with your Weebly page. Notice that you can change the design by clicking here. And this enables me to change the color scheme. And it's really mainly the buttons that, th that this is changing the color for. I can switch themes completely. I can change fonts, get rid of these social icons. If you know HTML or are familiar with CSS, you can go in and click this button here and make really fine changes, fine tune your website by using HTML code. Next up, let's look at the pages tab up here at the top. And what this does is it enables me to add multiple pages to my website. Notice that by default, I have three pages, a home page, an about page, and a contact page. But I could click this pages tab so notice that here at the left it lists the pages that I already have and I could reorder those if I wanted to but I want to add another page so I click the button this will be a standard page and I can choose the page layout for the page click save and edit so now notice that I have four different pages for my website and I can click 
to go to each one. One of the great new features in Weebly is that you can get a, a glimpse of the mobile view of your website. Just by clicking to this cell phone icon, it gives you a preview of how, of how your site would look on a cell phone. Okay, so if I'm done building my site, or at least I'm done for now, and I want to get it out there on the internet so that people can start visiting the website. All I have to do next is click Publish. Weebly again wants me to verify that I do want to just use their subdomain. I'll just leave it at the free weebly.com domain, and I'll click Continue, and it's published. Now once again, Weebly gives me the opportunity to pay them money if I'd like. Notice that it says good news. MathForGeniuses.com is also available. If I click continue, it takes me to a page where I can pay them money to make that website address active. A lot of people get to this point in Weebly, don't know what to do, they click that and they assume they have to pay money. But I have already published my website at this point. It's active and ready to be used. All I have to do to see it is click this link here. And this is my wonderful Math for Geniuses website. Notice that the, the navigation at the top of the screen works great. And there at the top you can see the URL for my great website. I just love Weebly. I think it's a fantastic way to create a class website, student websites, just about any website. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials about educational technology in the classroom.